Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Uh, this is 2000 and I believe nine Toyota Sienna. The customer say that the car is the brake, the ABS or the brake keep sh shut off. You know, what I mean, the brake keep lock, keep locking. That means it will not move. And when I come and I diagnose the car here. As you see, all these lights are, are on. All the light is on. You see here, the light is on. But I notice, you know, checking your light is on, ABS is on, VS is on. All this is light is on. It's okay. Toyota checking your light will turn ABS light on. But I notice that also the battery light is on. He told me he changed the battery. He jumped it. He changed the battery. Maybe he did something wrong while he's jumping the battery or he replaced the battery he said that the car while you're driving it, the the brake lock up and then nothing is moved you have to wait a couple of minutes you know you have to wait a couple of minutes and then the car will uh, release the brake even though this is not push okay you have to do a quick uh, uh, we have to do a quick um, diagnosis like a quick uh, uh, visual inspection so I open the hood before I do anything, I drove the car, I see the, the battery light is on, I say, hmm, the alternator is not charging. This battery look like it's a new battery. So now I hook up the tools and I want to check a quick voltage. The car is running, I have 12 volts, that means battery voltage, that means the car is not charging. When they say they jump the battery, first thing I think maybe they blew out the, the circuit breaker that is here. You know, you have a fuse link that is supposed to be here, these glasses. If you notice here, there is a pair, you see? Together we can see. I did not open this before. So already we know what's going on here. And also, the charge there is 12. Let me see here how much I have. It's supposed to have, the car is not running. It's supposed to have 12, 12 volt. If not, you see, I have 17 volt. And that, this 17 volt, can create a noise to the ABS, you know, to can create noise to the ABS, make the ABS lack if there's that the reason, or something is not right. There is no voltage here. Now, this 17 volt, you see, this is 17 volts, it's, it's coming out of the alternator to the battery and to be regulated. Because there is, because the, the fuse is blown, the alternator push 17 volt, it still doesn't reach the battery because the regulator need to see something he didn't see it and keep pushing hard and that could cause other functions to be bad right now if i turn the key off in engine off now if i go there on the alternator there will be no power at all here let me see now you see now i have 11 volt okay i have 11 volt but this 11 volt when you start the car the charging system that is here it keep you see here one side you know it touch but maybe it's gonna go up you see somebody tried to solder it i don't know they put something here when when you start the car now this thing will get will get you know like it will it will heat up and there will be no power follow no power you see now here this one here we have 12 we have 12 here we have 12 but here we don't have nothing so if you join here we will get power there so first we need to order this glass and then to fix that then everything will be fixed i believe so we have no brake issue but we have a problem here please subscribe share and like this is muhammad harun idris see you in another video and uh, our problem is already found or solved see now the battery is gone you see that i started so when 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 you start there is a power but that power now I touch that thing a little bit. No, I don't have anything. So here, you see here we have no power. Here we have 12 full of QHD. Here we have nothing now. You see the car start is completely disconnected. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share again. But we know the problem. Please check your car always when you have those kind of things. Visual inspection is very important. And thank you again.